Hey guys, hi, good morning. Welcome back to my channel. It's me, Steven. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 26. Yes, because I go through New Year's. Um, I'm just making sure I have all of my cords, all of my bags, all of my skincare, everything, because I'm tired of losing things. Um, my 15 minute alarm for the shuttle went off two minutes ago, so my 10 minute alarm is gonna go off in a moment. Um, but I think we're ready to go. We're going to um, Cancun today and back. So, um, you know, it's all of my favorite stuff. <laughs> but with a good crew, so nothing could really go wrong. So let's get out of the room and go to the hotel. Airport. <laughs> but first, breakfast. Uh, grab and go, which is whatever is in the crew room, apparently. And that's actually better than some of the things I see in other hotels. So here's our crew room. There you go. Some Pop-Tarts, some granola bars, some juices. Better than usual. An extra large coffee at Dunkin' should get me to Cancun at least. Hey guys, all right, so that flight was easy. You can't really hear me, I don't think out there. That flight ended up being really, really easy. It was ugh, wicked easy. You know how I feel about Philly flights, right? <laughs> um, uh, we had the right forms, which I was excited about because the last time I flew here, we didn't have the appropriate forms. Um, we don't have, for some reason, the declaration form that we usually fill out to put all of our food and all the things that we're carrying in our lunch bag. We didn't get any of those in my bat, my um, international paperwork bag, so a little irritated by that. So I'm gonna fill out one sec. All right, hi. So I had to uh, talk briefly with the uh, gate agent. So he just gave me our pre-departure crew brief. And we have 65 passengers. Wow. I uh, know, 65. I like a full flight because that means I have a job and a, a, I'm fully employed, but once in a while a light load is nice. Um, so uh, we're boarding in about 20 minutes. Yeah, so um, ta-da! That is the day so far. I will see you in back in Philly. It's funny is the gate agent was like, um, so it's up to you, but do you want to start boarding now or do you want to maybe wait another five minutes? Because we only have 65 people on board. He's like, do you want to wait? Do it now or do you want to wait five minutes? And I'm like, they're like, we'll wait. We'll wait another five minutes. And then I'm like, he's trying to be sneaky because we're not supposed to board for another 15 minutes. So <laughs> he just wants them out of his hair, I'm sure. But um, yeah, we're not going to, we're not going to board till we have to board. It's just, Otherwise, they sit here on the plane for an hour, you know, it's, that's no fun. So, yeah, he's trying to be slippery. <laughs> Oof, this is what we have to do. Do it at customs. <laughs> that should be an advertisement for Travel Pro Bags. I'll tell you that they can handle that. All right, where are we going? Do you guys know where we're going? Well, we made it to the hotel. I think we're all a little delirious because this was... Actually, getting getting to out of customs was actually more work than the flight. Did you hear that? Like, uh, yeah, the highway is right outside our my window. Um, wow, guys, I am like delirious. I'm so tired, but I almost feel giddy. Oh, I thought that was a bug, um, because. To hear that, it's the traffic is crazy. I have earplugs, so that's good. Um, I'm almost giddy. I just today was so nice. I just I don't think I filmed anything between the two legs um, of our day, but did I? The flights today were so nice. It almost canceled out my feelings for Philly. <laughs> Sorry, for Philly. Sometimes Philly is just a lot of work. Um, but today was so nice. The people were so, can I say it again? They were so nice. I mean, the, the people from our last flight, the second flight of the day, they were just the most lovely people. 
Um, I'm going to miss them. I mean, I'm probably going to remember them for a while. They were just so great. Um, just, I mean, everybody, everybody I met on that last flight was just fantastic. They were so great. As I've said, like 30 times already, um, everybody stood out. Everyone was the same. They were just always, they were just great. Um, there was this one little family though, that kind of stood out for me a little bit. Uh, there was a mom and a dad and their little girl who I didn't ask how old she was. I'm going to guess she was about eight years old, super smart pleasant and she had like the best manners uh and her her little brother the little boy who is probably he was probably two or a little under two um so beautiful you've never seen a more beautiful like a christmas angel with this white 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 hair um but he had a, a, a series of a couple little meltdowns he was very unhappy for, for a little bit um just this little but um once he fell asleep, <laughs> once he fell asleep and had a little nap, he was much better. But his mood was vastly improved by gummy bears. That that helped. Uh, but the, the the family was just so cute and so sweet. Uh, and the parents, I think, they just felt a little um, anxious about maybe how people around would perceive uh, their little boy's kind of meltdowns because he did get a little upset. But we've seen. A hundred times worse. I mean, a hundred times worse. He was a, a little bit, but nowhere near as bad as I've seen. Oh my goodness. But they were just the best. Um, the first leg of the day, I'm not even sure if I had time to tell you, but it's just a really great group of people. The first leg was 160 people. The second leg, we had 65 people. Um, and um, the, uh, let's see, was there anything that was not great? Um, the only thing that was kind of a, a little minor irritation is that um, they did not give me enough immigration forms, immigration forms um, for Mexico for my first flight. We had like 160 people, 100, something like that, but they only gave me 45 forms and that's not enough. Um, they went and grabbed me uh, another short stack, but it was just, barely enough. Um, I, I, I joked and told people, aim for neatness because I don't have any extras to give out, you know. So that was a little irritating. And we didn't have um, declaration forms for crew. Um, so I filled out one of the regular U.S. declaration forms for passengers just in case, because I'd rather have that than say, oh, I didn't have anything to fill out. Uh, and when I got through to customs, he didn't even look at my passport. He um, had me look into a camera. He said, do you have any food in your lunch bag? I said, yeah, I've got, um, you know, some yogurt. I have this like vacuum sealed pre-cooked lamb shank or something. And he's like, okay, you're all set. I'm like, oh, all right. Zoom out of there. Um, thank God we had um, our flight crew. We're flying with them tomorrow too. They were amazing. Our flight crew. <gasps> Two men, they were so handsome and they were so nice. Uh, but thankfully they were staying uh, nearby using the same shuttle. So we kind of followed them to find out where we were going. Guess getting out of customs in Philly is a beast. Not fun, way not fun. Um, but uh, yeah, really, really nice day. Um, one of those days that makes you really, really appreciate being a flight attendant. I just couldn't be more grateful. Uh, in fact, I think I kept gushing to this, especially to the second leg, because they were just the nicest. I was like, oh my God, you guys are the best. I'm gonna miss you guys, you know? Um, and uh, there was a little bit of applause. <laughs> and um, yeah, really, really nice day. Um, I'm for some reason very tired though. So I'm gonna um, have a cup of tea just so I don't get to sleep too early. Um, I've got my lamb. Oh, I didn't zip it up. Um, I have my lamb shank. As you can see, it's huge. And it's stuffed inside my um, my Sabbath heat. And I've got my potatoes. Also, I'm going to throw those right in here. Uh, and sometimes, if you remember my, my video where I um, compared this to a Hot Logic Mini, one of the things I didn't like about the Sabbath heat is that it's so deep from top to bottom. 
Um, I used to eat out of my hot logic, which is about half as deep. Here, I didn't like the extra depth, but the extra depth allows me really to put so much food. So I put this in uh, at for 180 minutes at uh, level four. Um, in about 20 minutes, 25 minutes, I'm going to come in and turn over um, the um, the lamb. So we'll see how that turns out. And if it's interesting or worth telling you, I'll tell you how dinner turned out. But uh, man, I am just in the best mood. Uh, and how rare can you say that after a long day of work to say, oh my God, I'm in the best mood because of my job. Isn't that a blessing? I mean, how lucky am I? All right. May I always feel this way. All right. I'm going to let you guys go for a little while so I can eat, uh, take these clothes off. Uh, and, um, yeah, settle in. I will see you later on tonight. All right, a little costume change. So I don't think I even told you about my crew. Um, we had a chaser today who was uh, pretty new. She graduated. Um, oh, here's my room tour. Um, she graduated in October, started flying in November. <clears throat> Just lovely. She's a little older than me. She's, I think she's 60. Lovely, lovely woman. Um, it always, I keep seeing things that look like a bug because this hotel has a history with bugs, but I think it's just a spot. Um, she's lovely, just a really great uh, young uh, lady. She's out of Fort Lauderdale and uh, it's nice to have someone who's of a similar age because you, you just see things sometimes a little, uh, at least there are some references, cultural references that we don't have to explain, you know, like Xanadu. You're like, um, Olivia Newton-John, for those of you who, you don't even know who she is. Um, really nice to work with her. And then we had um, a coworker in back. She's been here for a little bit. She's a little bit more senior than our chaser is. Uh, just really charming, lovely, full of great energy, a lot of great spunk and just really good intentions, you know, a good person. And then uh, we had position C, who also just a great girl. She's young. She's probably half my age. But super, super nice. And we have a similar sense of humor. Um, I was describing some behavior of a coworker who is, it's, it's, it's sometimes a little much. And I wasn't going to use a name. I was like, I'm not going to say, because it's a really slippery slope. You start talking about one person and then it's like, bing, 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 bing. And you don't want to be talking about your coworkers because it's a very, very small world. Uh, but I was like, you know, this person that, you know, oh my God. And she just went, oh, blah, 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 their name. And I was like, oh, <laughs> uh, and uh, so we just had a couple laughs, but um, it was just a really nice crew, really nice crew. So I'm um, looking forward to tomorrow for a couple of reasons. First, I have a great flight crew. I have a great cabin crew. It's one leg home. What's not to love, right? So, all right, I'm going to uh, let you guys go again. I'm going to have a little snack before my dinner is heated up. And that snack is going to be these little Belvita cookie things, these little biscuits. Take a bite of this and a little bite of Hershey's chocolate. And, oh, it's like a s'mores without the marshmallow, but it's still really, really delicious. So that's going to be a little bit of a snack before I hit my... Uh, dinner. That'll take another hour, hour and a half to heat up. So blah, blah, blah. Let me let you go and I will see you later on. All right. I think my food is done. I'm not sure if you can tell, but it is super hot and super juicy in that little bag. And my potatoes are also nice and hot. So now I have to sort of somehow manage to decant this into my very prestigious and very gorgeous thing. <laughs> All right, this is steaming hot. Now, if I zoom in and you can't see this plastic tray, doesn't that look delicious? Mmm, so excited. Well, there's my dinner and my entertainment. I'm watching Fly With a Guy and I am about to tuck into my lamb shanks very excited Ooh. oh 
Oh, can you see that? So excited. Mm -hmm. Hello. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, that is Costco for the win. Look at that. Mm. Mm -hmm. All right, so if you're a vegetarian, you're going to hate this, but look at that magic bite. so good. Now, I'm not sure if it's the way it was cooked when I bought it, <clears throat> but the fact that it was, oh my God, it's so good. The fact that I had it in my Savit heat, it would have worked in a hot logic mini, but the Savit heat allows me to adjust my temperature and my time. Um, but it was in the Savit heat for so long that it kind of, um, it almost feels more braised. It's just fantastic. Um, it's pretty fatty. Lamb must be pretty fatty because there's a huge slick of fat that was rendered from the meat, but that just left the meat more lean, which is my favorite kind of thing. And, um, uh, I am dying. I am dying. All right. So it's like braised lamb shank in a hotel room in Philadelphia. I mean, how can you beat it, right? And the package um, was two lamb shanks for $23, I think. This is unbelievable. So very happy with myself right now. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna finish this up. I'm gonna eat this up and then I will wrap the day up. See you soon. Hey guys, hi. So I am stuffed like a tick. I mean, my stomach is distended. I am so full. Oh, not very pretty. Um, I'm about to go to bed because I am wicked tired. I'm like really, really tired. Um, I've been trying to watch Deanne Ford's uh, video about going to the Mob Museum. I'm like 10 minutes into it, but I just can't finish it tonight. I'm just too tired. So I'm going to save it and watch the rest when I get home tomorrow afternoon. Um, in the meantime, I'm going to pack up my bags so that I don't have to pack in the morning. So all I have to do is wake up at the last minute and then jump in the shower. Um, flight attendants tend to uh, make set a lot of alarms uh, for layovers, especially early morning layovers. I set five as a minimum, <laughs> five alarms. So I set an alarm for when I want to wake up. I set an alarm for two minutes later and four minutes later. Um, and then I will set an alarm for 15 minutes before I have to leave my room for the shuttle. And then I'll set it for 10 minutes before I have to leave the room. And that's at the minimum. If it's a super early morning show, I might set four alarms to wake up just in case, you know, uh, because these alarms, if they don't wake me up and get me out of bed, they eventually become so tedious that I have to get out of bed just because I'm so irritated by my alarms. But, um, so I don't know really what this video looks like. I haven't edited it together yet, but um, let me do that real quick before I go to bed so I can upload this. But thank you for joining me today. I know it wasn't that exciting of Vlogmas, uh, but boy, I'll tell you, on this end of it, on this side of the camera, it was really satisfying. It was a really beautiful day. Um, to be a flight attendant. So thanks a lot for joining me and I will see you tomorrow.